I think all social media sites that suck you onto the platform and keep you online versus push you offline will die. Because humans need to be face to face. I'm focused. <laughs> Cam was focused. I got an audience. I got lights. I don't have makeup. That's what I don't have. I do have some wine. I got my shaker cup. I got my Colton. We are documenting our journey to a billion. Park Bench's journey to a billion. This time in 10 years, when we're up there with the big boys, they'll be like, oh, well, this is where their story becomes. I bet. Companies like yeah, Apple are like, why didn't we walk around filming our people at startup level? Good answer, right? He doesn't cut anything. He lo everything's posted constantly. Uh, well, it's not because I've said some very controversial shit it's up there. on this thing, and it's not been on. That. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you think he doesn't have it stored in this yeah, mega he, camera? He just like he just burns the teeth. It's all digital, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know what I like when the camera's rolling? Everyone like gets ready to like say something. I can see, like, while I'm talking, you're thinking of something to say to get the camera your way. <laughs> Strange. Like, having this camera pointed at me all the time is a little bit, like, daunting. Just having a light shined on my stupidity is something I've always wanted. I am trapped under a cow. I am trapped under a cow. We're a cool group of people, man, and I think people need to know that. Yeah! What is... What is Park Bench? Like, what, what does Park Bench do? Hey, my name is Grant Finley Sherris, co founder and CEO of Park Bench, and I got a quick message for you today just to give you a little description on like why parkbench.com was created. The official Park Bench story is that Amanda Newman was a realtor and she was looking for a way to uh, demonstrate that she's community minded, that she's a relationship and referral based realtor. And so she connected with Grant, who was a small business owner, had a fitness startup, uh, and together they sort of put their heads together and thought, hey, what if we could create a website that was like a local hub for the community to use, but that also gave Amanda an opportunity to get herself out there uh, and get to know people and really, uh, you know, talk about demonstrating that you're community minded. Park Bench created a free platform for local businesses to put up their deals, their sales, their specials, their happy hours. Countries are built from neighborhoods. And so we got to shop local, and so now you can actually shop local and save money. We're like a tech company. Um, we build neighborhood websites. So we keep it up to date with all of the news and the events and all of that good community information. Even before we launched it, I thought this idea has to be out there. But then when we did launch it and we realized that it wasn't, it was just crazy to me. If you're a professional, we're a relationship-based marketing tool. If you're a business owner or school or community group, we're a free marketing platform. And if you're a homeowner, we're the new newspaper for your community. Do you think Park Bench can make it to a billion dollars? Bench will make it to a billion. It already has in my head. Oh, most definitely. How does this not turn into a billion dollars? Spoiler alert, we do. More than a billion. We can make it to a Google. D U H D U. Yeah, yeah. Park Bench will make it to a billion. I know it will. Uh, right now, no. We have the right growth and buzz trajectory, but we need to significantly change the way we make money at Park Bench or the whole greater Park Bench brand in order to hit that billion. But but I'm sure like because Grant and Amanda work so hard, like eventually we will want that. I push the people and the people push me. And it's just a constant back and forth and we're both rising up because of it. And we toss the word family around here, right? It's not that we just toss it just to have like a slogan or a motto or whatever. It truly is family. Essentially, it's like we're free range chickens here, as opposed to like battery hens that are like just cooped up in their little pods. So we get to roam around, we can go into the park, we can eat their nice food that they give for us and like just have that better quality of life. Any one of these individuals was to call me tomorrow and say, 
can I help, can you help, um, can I ask you to help? Before they even finish their sentence, I'm like, what do you want? What do you need? Saturday? Great. Sunday? Cool. You know?